eight conspiracy theories about the New World Order. Number three, Zion. Published over a century ago, The Protocols of the Elders of Zion is an anti-Semitic text trying to talk about this plan that the Jewish people have to control the world. It was originally written in Russian and then translated to multiple other languages. The files appear to present the discussions taking place during a meeting of Jewish leaders plotting to take over the world on behalf of the Jewish people. The reason? Well, they were chosen by God, so they must rule. Basically, behind all the secret societies of the world looking to get their hands on more power and more control stand a few select people of the Jewish faith. Either way, it is generally accepted that the author actually fabricated the entire thing. Not that it's surprising, considering the anti-Jew propaganda at the time, but it is rather unexpected that so many years later, some people continue to believe it's true. Number 2. The End of Time The apocalypse has been predicted time and time again since, well, forever. It truly seems like people across the ages have always been pessimistic about humanity's chances to live on this planet for a long time. Theories about the apocalypse have reached the surface time and time again, mostly based on the biblical end of all times. Well, those who believe in the New World Order see the apocalypse a little bit different from the classic balls of fire coming down on Earth type of ending. In fact, some believe that it's the creation of the New World Order itself that represents the end of time, or the end of time as we know it. It's all got some some kind of biblical backing behind it, namely a deal made with the devil in order to gain the power to control the world. Number 1. Ten Kings Basing this theory on text from the Bible, the conspiracy regarding the Ten Kings states that ten nations will become more powerful than the rest, ending up in creating the New World Order. This is based on quotes from the Book of Revelation, presenting the idea that a small group will gain the power to rule the world. This is seen as a prediction, and most see the current G8 as a version of this theory. Of course, there's a difference in numbers, but that doesn't really matter in the end. The Group of Eight, also known as G8, is a political forum that includes France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK, the United States, Canada, and the European Union. It should be mentioned, of course, that Russia used to be a member too before it got suspended, and that the European Union isn't exactly a single state or king to fit the prophecy. Over the years, there have been many voices suggesting a new split of the world would be best for political and economical purposes, including the Club of Rome, a global think tank founded back in the 60s. The club discusses many issues, including the future of humanity, and it has been known for suggesting back in the 70s that splitting the world into 10 regions would be best. This, of course, has sent conspiracy theory fans in a tizzy, saying the end is nigh. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Top Truths content. In the meantime, feel free to take a look at our other videos here.